Man, I really don't even know where to start for real because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want. And he want me to give him what he want as well. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, and it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like I'm gonna accept him and love him for who he is. So I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha and he used the word contaminating. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said... You found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word, when you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before and I forgave you, you wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. And me, I feel like I done been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. And it's like the whole world can go against you. But I haven't won. Since I've been a little girl, I never would go against you. And I think I'm really fed up. And you get to talking about God. Like I don't know my God He talking about God And how I grew up I know my God from Nita From my mama My mama sent me scriptures every morning My mama put me in the church home I don't recall not one time I'm ever getting up with you And you taking me to To the Lord's house I don't I don't never recall it. I didn't I didn't learn that from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Even if it's you. You get what I'm saying? And it's and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. I never said you was a bad father because you not. 
you gonna make sure your kids straight. You always gonna do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bruh. And I know you suck with that because you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids before you come to us and have that conversation. He didn't did about six, seven interviews about me being gay, right? We ain't not never have, he ain't never not have one sit down with me, myself, just him and Aviana and ask me why you became that way fat what what triggered you what he is it, it never been that every answer every question y'all asking him and he giving y'all them answers if i go ask him that he wouldn't give me an answer you know what i'm saying he don't he don't he don't the things that he do bro i would have never thought he would do and it's like, I came to the point to where uh, yesterday, it just really did it to me because I'm like, bro, I would not, I would always not say something because I would feel like I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the green and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. But it's like, you making me do that. They not even making me do that. You making me do that, nigga, because you steady speaking on me. You steady. Like, I will respect if you if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I can never get that from you. If y'all go look at my interviews, y'all will see. Anytime they try to make it like, my daddy don't fuck with me. Oh, he this and that. I say he loved me regardless. This my pops. I ain't going against him. Y'all ain't gonna turn me against him. I always stood on it. And it's like, I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care about my feelings no more. You just don't care about my heart. Cause you entitled to feel how you feel. You entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities, a lot of op opportunities have been missed because you are my father. But that's something I can't change. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go around like I don't fuck with that nigga anyway because he don't fuck with me. I don't do that just so I can get on. You know what I'm saying? And with this music shit, if you broadcast my music the way you broadcast me being gay, maybe I'll be further than what I am. But you so worried about me being gay, you can't even see my, my true talent. The world always talking about, I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, I don't remember the last time he told me that. I don't remember the last time I got that from him. And I'm always grateful. It don't matter what he give me. It don't matter. And I barely even ask him for something. That's why I want him want, want my own so bad. That's why I'm hosting the debut. That's why I'm trying to do little features. That's why I'm doing little interviews. Cause I want my own. I want my own and he know that. He know that, bro. Like that don't make no sense. I pay for most of my videos. I pay for most of this. You're not doing nothing. You're not supporting me like you should. And I don't hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. I still love you. I still don't downplay you, talk about you. But I'm tired of sparing. I'm tired of sparing and I'm tired of just feeling like I'm just letting you play with me because you my pops. I'm tired of feeling like that. And I love you regardless. I'm always going to love you. But there's no way I'm going to keep letting you speak on me and I'm not going to speak on you. It's no way I can't do that. And for the people that, that do support me and do know Ivy, I appreciate you. With everything in my heart, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to just be myself, express myself, express myself through these through this music, through YouTube channels, anything I want to do, I appreciate y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up because the haters, like that's something I can be used to. Like they don't know me. They 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 can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You though, you though, like you know me. You my daddy. You don't you 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 don't continue to to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do do it to you. I ain't never done that to you. It's certain things that the world would never know that I'll take to my grave for you, and you know that. You know that. It's certain things that I know, certain conversations that you done told me, certain hurtful words you done told me that, that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you. And you know this. You know this, bro. But I'm really kind of disappointed that I had to come on here and do this and, and I let it get to me like this. But, bro, I feel like this is the only way I can feel better. And y'all probably say, why you don't call him? Why you don't go to him? Why he don't call me and come to me? Why he don't do me that? So, with that being said, that'll be my last time speaking on it. As long as it's his last time speaking on it. And it probably won't be. I'll just put this... I, I, I use my music to vent. And if y'all would have been listening, y'all would have been hearing little things in my music. Because that's what I use to vent. That's what I use to cope. So in October, I drop a new project. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me and join the YouTube channel. I've enjoyed it. And I pray that everybody just keep being them. Boosie got a daughter who lesbian. She like girls. And for a long time, Boosie been vocal about his stance and his belief when it comes to his daughter liking girls and stuff like that. And he been strong and firm in it. And when it comes to Boosie, a lot of times, you know, it's, what's understood ain't gotta be explained. You know, what you see is what you get when it comes to Boosie. And for a long time, this is kind of been his little get down when it comes to social media. Like people become a little more vocal and opinionated with they stands on stuff when you see that is gaining you money, you accumulate, it's like a monetary gain, you accumulating cash from it. So I think over time when he saw that it's money to be made and voicing your opinion on certain things and having a platform, he kind of took it and ran with it. And sometimes he go a little too far. And this one of them times where I feel like Boosie went a little too far. I feel like Boosie, with what he said about his daughter, you know, you got to think, at some point in time, if you're not going to figure out what may have caused her to want to be this type of way, then it's going to make me just question whether or not you even love your daughter because she had a lot of stuff to say in this video. And... A lot of the stuff that I was saying in the video, I kind of was thinking it as the video was going on, like whatever I was getting ready to say, she beat me to it, making the point in the video. And a lot of the stuff that she said, you know, Boosie is right. You got a song that before you went to jail, when you was in your prime, that you still perform to this day, they die. Two red bone kissing in the back seat. Don't stop, keep going, that relax me. What type of image do you think like positive image you think you portray to the public every time you perform this song. So when you sit on a platform like Carisha and you say that your daughter is contaminating your house or you don't want her contaminating the other kids, what you think the music doing, Bruce? Not even just step away from the lyrics of your, you know, lesbian rapping and you not agreeing with your daughter. Let's talk about just the killing and the guns and the drugs and the murder and the body that you allegedly caught. How much contamination do you think that did in the state of Louisiana, in the city of Baton Rouge? Not only that, how many minds mentally have you contaminated? Marlon Mike still in jail for something that you might have contaminated his mind with doing by way of manipulation feeding him money. So when you say stuff like that, you know, it's like the pot calling the kettle black to me. And I feel like you want a little too hard. I feel like you want a little too hard on your daughter. Um, 
and you don't want to at some point have your child feeling like you don't love them. You know, the main thing, like when you see Ivy in this video, what I took away from is she hurt. She emotionally hurts, she drains, she frustrated because she don't understand why, you know, choices that I choose to make in my life, my personal life, why are these things hindering me from getting the love and nurturing that I supposed to be getting from my father regardless of what I choose to be in life, regardless of what choices I make, you supposed to love me regardless. So the, the more you speak on this stuff publicly, and you get on these platforms and you, you vocal and you saying this stuff, you gotta think, Boosie, you're a public figure. So you got people who gonna follow you because they loyal to you and they they been rocking with you since day one. You gonna have people that come along the way and not even know nothing about your music, but it's something that you said that went viral and they might like you and start following you. Point being, I said all that to say this, you know, you will have more people that's on your side and what you believe when it comes to your daughter than people actually sitting and taking out time and realize like, no, this ain't right, this ain't cool. Because in today's time, power is a motherfucker. So you will have people around here really, like if you're not careful, literally ready to counsel your daughter because of the stuff that you putting out, the stuff that you saying when you get ready to speak on your stands about how you how you feel with the the gay couples and all this stuff. Like like man, this your daughter, bro. You ain't speaking on a Dwayne Wade situation or no stuff like that, or all this I've seen or all these this other speculation that be going on in industry. This is your this your child. So anything that you say about your child, anything that you not in agreement on, anything you disagree with. Big as your boy is out here, big as your platform. Like, people start turning against your, your daughter, man, out, out of the love that they have for you. But you'll have some people, too, who turn against you out of the love and respect for you because they ain't rocking with what you put down. And it's a time for me to fall back in that personal. But I'm just step back because we're not going to do the kids like that. Like, this, like this girl said, in Jamaica, you called her a gay bitch or something along them lines like like and these be the thing that you know when you when you speaking out you speaking like you you doing this from I'm, I, I know what best from you standpoint but in reality like do you know what best for this girl or are you trying to control her life because if you know what best for her, you wouldn't leave out of frustration and emotion by calling her a gay bitch if you wanted what best for her, you would try to figure out what led her into want to even have a, a mindset that the process did to begin with they even want to be this way a lot of time a lot of people grow up and they end up being homosexual they end up being gay or transphobic or part of the lgbt community because of stuff that they experienced when they were young stuff that they encountered as a child that they don't even speak on where it's like when you a kid somebody caught you at a vulnerable state where you didn't, you barely knew right from wrong and prayed on you, did some perverted ass shit to you and you shame to even talk about it. So now as you get older, your mind is confused as to what you like, what you supposed to like, because I know what I'm supposed to like, but I know what I was introduced to, exposed to at an early age and now I'm confused. That's what I see when I look at Ivan. Even she said like, you ain't never set me down and asked me what made me like this. That spoke volume to me. That spoke volumes to me because who you say, man, your your daughter at some point ain't been took, man, by somebody you know. I'm just saying. Or somebody close to you or somebody that's in her family on the on the side that she ain't never spoken on. Like, these be the question that I would want, the, an the answer that I would want to these questions. These be the question that I'd I be really like trying to figure out right now. Build my daughter. I got a three-year-old. But she was at the age of Ivy, young adult, she going through her, go through. I wouldn't, I wouldn't never be judgmental towards her as far as like what she choose to do with her life. As long as you doing what makes you happy, you ain't killing nobody, you ain't selling your body, you ain't going to jail, you ain't scamming, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Get your education, focus on your future, whatever you choose to do in your love life, keep that personal outside of what you're doing to better yourself every day and make ends meet. But at the end of the day, man, your mama, we still love you. Like, long you do what best for you. I, you would think this is the type of route that a person like Boosie would go, multi-millionaire, 
top tier artist, top tier rapper. Like man, he, you you he thinking like a child. Like, I ain't gonna say he thinking like a child. And he, I don't know how he thinking, man. But you can't you can't fault people for they believe because you know I gotta give him somewhat benefit of the doubt too. You know, his stand when you listen to Carisha, maybe he just be stuck on some old religion type thing when he grew up, you know, and this is how his mama raised him, like Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Cause you hear people say that all the time. Like, man, I came up out Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve and stuff like that. And you be having people, you know, who say that on the fly, but that really be their stand. So Boosie probably don't even realize the damage that he doing when he speak on this stuff publicly or when you on a platform like Young Miami and you saying this vocally about your child. He probably don't even like, but it take having people around you that's not yes man. It take people around you that's like, you know, that can pull you to the side and let you know when you fucking up and when you say it too much or not. Nah, you should don't say that we're gonna stay away from that. You know, 50 Cent, my all time favorite rapper. Um, I watched an interview that he did a couple weeks ago. And it was like two things that his PR trained him to stay away from. And that's religion and his politics. Because no matter what you say, no matter what your stance is, it can be dead to the right. And the person right beside you will play you dead to the left. Don't be so caught up into your beliefs in this rap industry or whatever, this street mentality that you got to the point where you start showing tough love towards your kid because these kids gotta grow up and they don't forget what you done to them when you're young. That's one thing, and I'm a witness to that. Like, I'm 31 years old and this stuff, like, as a child, you know, just my parents, my dad, you know, cousin, they like, kids don't forget. Like, you start them, you tell them no, or you, you ever needed them and they went there for you, they kicked you while you were down. Like, people grow, they don't, they don't forget that. And sometimes, you know, just because you my mom and just because you my dad, you know, I can love you, but I can love you from a distance. That don't mean that I gotta tolerate the disrespect. That don't mean I gotta tolerate you tarnishing my image. Like she said too, like look, I said, you know, if you gave me more exposure with my music the same way that you did, the way that you bashed me for my sexual preference or my sexual belief outside of the career that I'm trying to build, I been took off. I'll be way further than I am. You put as much time into focusing on who I'm sleeping with as you would into my career because I want to be a rapper because of you. I looked up to you doing it. You my daddy. You the star. We grew up watching you do so. I idolize you doing this and I'm trying to chase a dream that you set in stone for us to chase. But you can't even see the legacy that you leaving behind and the greatness in that because you're trying to judge me for something that you ain't never even questioned me about it, even try to get understanding on. You just take it for what you want to take it for. And I don't think that's fair. The little Ivy, man. Prayers to her. I pray that she get through her situation, man. And hopefully her and Boosie can talk, man, because they that's that's daughters and father. Like this ain't no friend and person on the street or a business partner. Nah, this this is my daughter. This is my dad like but anyway, man, y'all hit the like button, subscribe, share, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Am I tripping? I be feeling like I be making sense sometimes, you know, even though I be all over the place, but she gonna be all right. Boosie, you tripping, Y'all hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment down